And we're live. Hi, everybody. Hi. How's the lighting here? Should we, should we move somewhere else? Could be better. Hi, friends. Good Hi, everyone. We're a little sleepy because we just got back from fishing. Yeah, we, <laughs> we're up really early fishing. And uh, I worked all day afterwards and then went, came back and crashed. And now uh, we're up and live with you guys. Sorry we haven't been live with you guys for a while. It's been... Um, it's been a little bit, but a lot of stuff <laughs> has happened since we went live with you guys last. <laughs> I'm going to start shouting some people out. Okay. Say hi to our friends. Julian, Arana, what's up? Hello, Anthony. Um, okay, so it's been a while since I've seen y'all. <laughs> a lot new? has changed. What has changed? <laughs> what's changed? Show them what's up. <laughs> I guess that's what's up. There we go. Then uh, a little bit. Yeah, last time we were live, that didn't happen yet. So, so things are a little <laughs> bit different now. Um, hello, Lior from Texas. Hello, Abel's Meat. Hello, Julian. Hello, Starbean. Oh my gosh, so many people saying hi. Hi, hi, hi. What's up, everyone? How's your Saturday? Thank you. How's everyone's Saturday going? Yes, it is good to see you guys too. Hi. Hi, David Smith. Hi, Sahid Razak, <laughs> Dominic Prince, Parkour Pro. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for the congratulations. So, what's new with you, Brendan? So, lately, I have been learning how to crab, mm. so I've gotten into uh, I've gotten some trotting stuff, crab line trotting, um, and it, it's pretty it's pretty uh it took a little bit to actually figure out how to get it set up and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, we still haven't gone out yet with it, but I want to know about what's the fishing like for everyone where you are. It's summer. For us, it's yeah. August. Where has everyone been fishing? What have you guys been fishing for? Has it been too hot to fish? Right. Fishing in the night, fishing in the day. What are you guys doing? What have we been doing? We've been fishing early, early, early in the morning, morning or late at night or sundown. Mm -hmm. But middle of the day has been really too hot. But honestly, this week has been blown for us because a lot Hurricanes, of rain. Rain, things like that. A lot of rain. Tommy or Tommy, Tommy is getting ready to go to do some perch fishing, buttermouth okay. perch in Venice oh, Beach, yeah. California. That sounds that fun. Sounds fun. Which are the best white sturgeon at Fraser River? That sounds fun. Jeremiah just hooked his first Florida pompano yesterday. Ooh, nice. I love pompano fishing. Felix Miranda says, hi, congrats. Wish you the best. My son Felix Jr. loves your videos. He wants to ask if you... If fishing after a tornado in Chesapeake, Maryland is good. <laughs> well, we just okay, fished wait, after yeah. a hurricane. Let's talk about that. And it was not good. It was not Everything good. was flooded <laughs> and the water was really brown and um, it just wasn't good. Right. So, so maybe for some people in like in their areas, but when when this last storm came through, it didn't it wasn't very good. Yeah. Last night we were driving around trying to get some fishing in before the rain came and the rain came before we got even to our fishing spot and we got rained out for the first time in a yeah. long time right yeah it was a really crazy rain and then this morning we were like oh let's just go after the rain and it was just muddy yeah so it just ended up being you know two days of wasted fishing because one we got rained out day two it was flooded so no good has that happened to anyone before Dominic Prince caught two snook and a bull shark yesterday. Two snook and a bull That's shark. A Dang. Good day. Nice. How's everyone been doing with the with the whole corona thing going on still? How have how has it been affecting you? Um, this person said Kaisen fishing Hawaii, second wave of COVID, can't go to the beach. <sighs> Darn. I think our boat has been the biggest game changer for us this season. Would you agree, Brendan? What? The, the boat? boat? Yeah. The has little. It's been a really different for us this season as a 
compared to previous years. If you guys have been following us, actively following us, you, you guys would know that we have this tiny little 10 foot <laughs> boat, which is perfect for us actually, because um, I don't need a trailer for it, which is really awesome. I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, oh, excuse me. I don't need a trailer for it, which is really awesome. Um, I can put it in the bed of my truck with just another right, person's help. Put it in there. Put it in there. We've got a little two horsepower um, Honda, and um, it works so well. It's gotten us so many places. And um, with this whole social distancing thing that's been going on, we were able to continue fishing and, and not have to worry about about being too close to other people. Right. Uh, whether we're going to be, um, yeah, it, it's just been nice. Yeah, it has. And it's allowed us to learn a new side of fishing that we haven't really yeah. gotten into yet, which has been fun. And we were able to really get on a lot more fish, I feel like, with the John boat. Yeah. Because we can try so many different spots. And there's a lot of places you cannot access and you will never, ever see without a boat or a uh, kayak. That's true. And the John boat's really nice because kayak is nice, but you have to paddle everywhere and it takes time and it takes like energy. But the, the John boat with the two horsepower, you just, you just truck on over there. If you're, if you don't want to be like, like wasting time paddling or wasting energy paddling, you just get your butt over there pretty, pretty quickly. <laughs> I want to ask you guys, how many of you have a boat or a kayak or some kind of water, water vehicle Right, yeah, that you use for fishing. How many of you do that versus fishing from shore? Do you do you do both? Do you yeah. miss surf fishing? I miss surf fishing a lot, but like the nearest surf to me is pretty far, and it's been pretty crowded from what I hear. Mm. Um, and there's a lot of little tiny small fish there right now, so I, I don't really want to make the trip Where to go are. catch little tiny small fish. Right. Well, let's talk about the giveaway that we're doing. We're yeah. doing a giveaway, by the way. We're giving away things. Are so excited to yeah, get things here's on? our brand new shrimpy bits. Um, our new bags. I mean, they're they're filled with shrimpy bits. Now we put all this salt in here so that it keeps it fresh. So when you get it, you can dump some of it out, or just keep it. But it keeps your bait very fresh, um, and and keeps it from going bad when it ships, and especially when it's shipping to hot places. Um, it, it's just good for it. So we've got two of these that we're going to be giving away. Uh -huh. And with. we did some hand tied, um, rigs that I, I tied up to kind of show you different ways that I like to use it with the, uh, shrimpy bits. So we've got a, uh, Carolina rig right here. I've got a fish finder rig right here and a high low rig right here. And I, I, I tied these up. Um, I'm also giving away the book to show you how exactly to tie these. So not only am I giving away the rigs, but I'm giving you the knowledge to learn how to do it yourself. And this book was called like surf, how to tie these surf fishing rigs or something yeah. like that. Four uh, surf fishing rigs and how to tie them. Yeah. And it doesn't, doesn't just need to be for the surf. It's a very good um, guide for just, these rigs are just good for lots of different things. Um, so we're going to be giving these away to one lucky winner. This is just a quick giveaway. Yeah. Um, we're going to be doing another giveaway soon. Yeah. Uh, we've got new stickers coming. Yeah. Uh, but if you want to, if you want to sign up for this giveaway, it's going to be ending soon. So two days in two it days on Monday. So, at so just do it now. Like while you're here, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to scroll up. Victor, Victor Rodriguez said, Hold on, I saw. He said he fished he with the same piece of squiddy bits on a deep sea trip this past weekend. They killed it, hooking up so much faster than anyone yeah, else on the Yeah, you see, boat. and you only need one piece. It's perfect if you're going on a charter because you're you don't need to keep baiting it up. Oh yeah, he said, and I fish with the same two chunks of squiddy bit basically the whole see? day. See, oh, watch everyone that's... around you waste their time baiting it up, and you'll be the one catching all the fish. I can almost guarantee you that. <laughs> Oh, who's saying Kish Island is very good for fishing? Ooh, Kish Island. Kish Island. We'll have that to look into that. Great. Grits and, and glamour. Says, with our squid and our shrimp, we were just freshly back in stock like last week. Yeah. So we were sold out for a little bit because, you know, we it's just us two who make it. Yeah. And uh, we make a lot at a time, but we, we sold out of it very quickly. Yes. So um, also, thank you. Thank you to anyone who has helped us, supported us, gotten yourself a bag. 
bought one of our ebooks, right? We really, really appreciate it. We really yeah. do. Thank you so much. What was I talking about? You were talking about your your ebooks and and that we were just back in stock. Oh yeah, we were just back in stock. Yeah. So we just got back in stock. So if you want to place an order now, we have everything back in stock right now. The the starter kits, which are the the waterproof bait box, that is one of my favorite things. Um, we have like we have a limited quality left of that, but order it before it gets sold out. Last time we we had these starter kits, they sold out very quickly, and <laughs> people kept asking, "How can I get it? How can I get it?" Uh, here's the warning now if you if you want to get it before it sells out you should get it now um and for anyone asking you can enter the giveaway through the link in the description our website to buy any of our stuff is also link in the description just check the description um everything's yeah. in there yeah and thank you for for your entering and good luck yeah it, it's gonna be a it's going to be a fun like couple months because we're going to be doing some more giveaways. I've got a lot of other really interesting stuff that we're giving away as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Should I show them some of the fish prints? You think they'd be interested? I mean, yeah, that's coming up. That's like a, that's a sneak peek. Okay. I'll give you guys a sneak peek of like what's to come in the next couple of weeks. No one else really knows about it too much. Maybe Instagram knows about it a little bit, um, but I haven't been showing too many people. I've been getting into like fish printing and, um, learning how to do what's called giataku fish printing it's it's like a japanese style of like printing your fish um just grab the one that everyone likes okay i've got a whole stack of these prints right here and i'm considering doing another giveaway just to give one of these away if anybody is interested in it i'm just not sure anyone cares about these prints but these this is what i've been working on um yeah, it's it's fish printing on rice paper, and Aaron's gonna go get my work right now. Oh, that's the that's the perch that I did. Look at that. That's the actual perch that I caught in one of our episodes, and I actually printed it onto this paper. I, I it's a process of putting ink on. It's a process of posing the fish like this first, and then putting ink onto it and printing it onto paper. And then going in and embellishing it with details like the eyes and, you know, finishing it out. So I'm going to be giving some of these away. If I, I'm considering it. Who would be interested in, in winning something like this? It's not framed, but when you do get it, you should frame it and put it up. Um, and I do not have any of these for sale. These are very limited quality right now. Um, but I, I could put some up and see if, if you guys want to buy it. We will have some available. I might put one or two up. So comment below if anyone would be interested in like, you know, auctioning for, for something like this. And I just want to point out, like, Brendan filled in this detail with his own artistic touch. Like maybe something that we don't talk about as much is that Brendan has had actually years of art school training. And yeah. you, you really are a beautiful artist. Well, I get to I get to be creative with my my PDFs now. So right. the, my eBooks and stuff like that. That's where my creativity goes. But I, I've had a lot of uh, fine arts classes in my in my life. So this is something that's just really fun, kind of a hobby that I've been doing. Yeah. Um, and I was considering doing like a tutorial on how to do that. Okay, so I wanted to answer Gunzo Clown, who's asking if we have any sales on products right now. Um, we do. We have actually oh, yeah, we've new got a sales on new products every week if you sign up oh. for our email list. Oh, really? Ooh, ooh, sign up I'm for the kidding. email list, <laughs> um, which is also in the link in the description. Um, but we are doing a dollar off variety packs of squid. Okay. We're doing a dollar off the knots guide, which I, I've heard from a lot of people that, that they a, love it. Yeah, it's really very helpful useful, for them. Yeah. Uh, thing. And then the four basic surf rigs and how to tie them, the one that we're giving away, the one that we're giving one away. is also on sale. Yep. So thank you So for if asking. you guys are interested in anything we're giving away, we also sell these products as well if you are interested. If not, good luck to win one of these, two of these packs. It's a very good bait. Um, it, it's been catching a lot of red drum, um, weak fish, trout. Uh, well, less. I have, I've heard a few reports of trout, but I heard a lot of re reports of um, croaker, whiting, yeah uh and drum drum definitely so if you like to fish for those kind of things and i also heard it's great for catfish too 
Yeah, and Exotic Guardian 329 is asking Please, for a tutorial on Red Drum. Okay. So maybe that's something that we'll have to do on our upcoming trip okay. to North Carolina. Ooh, yes. Which might be coming at the end of this year, right? Yes, it is. Maybe you've yeah, I'm ready. talk about that yet. So we're, we were making um, plans to um, camp in North Carolina in the fall. Um, we're going to be camping like on the beach, so it's going to be a week of that. It's going to be kind of uh it's going to be really fun but I'm not really quite prepared yet so we're we're trying to figure out exactly what we need um we we have a four wheel drive vehicle finally now so we're going to be able to do this and it's going to be really awesome um yeah grits and glamour your squeeze it's cut 20 flounder on one piece yes what 20 flounders on one piece of of squiddy bits or shrimpy bits Squiddy Bits. Oh, wow. Grits and Glamour. Yeah, I mean, Squiddy Bits has really been rocking it this year, supposedly. We're getting so many reports from people around around the around the United States catching, like, pretty much every single species on this thing. Um, so if you want to try some of the squid, our squid variety pack is on sale for a dollar off right now, right? Yep. Um, and again, we just want to thank anyone and everyone who has given us support, um, not just buying our products but you know anyone who was even here like talking with us right now watching videos watching our videos being here talking with us and just interacting with us that's that's so awesome you guys really make our channel what it is that, like thank you so much <laughs> we couldn't do it without we couldn't you. do it without you i think that's what you're saying yeah <laughs> and it's nice to to go live and see like hang out with you guys again it's been a little bit mm-hmm Whereabouts in North Carolina are y'all planning on camping at, says Patrick Pettigrew. Um, what was it called? North We're going Cape to Outer Pod? Banks. North Cape? Cape Lookout. Cape Lookout. Cape, Cape Lookout. Lookout. <laughs> There's our dog. <laughs> Los Angeles No Fish, says Ben Los Angeles. LA's No Fish. Oh. Um... Okay, so I think we've gone through most of our announcements. Is there anything else that you want to talk about? Lefty K keeps saying the email. It doesn't accept his email. Hmm. Chance Florida says, show the dog. <laughs> well, Squid Bits and Salty hey, Shrimp be out for international let's locations. Go on. Let's go on. Let's go. Quick answer is unfortunately no. We always have issues with customs, but international friends can definitely get ebooks. Here she is. You want to answer some more questions? Yeah. I can read them to you. Any jetty fishing tips? Says Gameaholic Awesome. What would you give for jetty fishing tips? Um, I haven't fished on a jetty for a little bit, but there's always fish that like to hide around the rocks. Jetties are great for um, you know, rock fishing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look for currents. Look for current. Look Watch for breaks the in the current. Um, you know, a lot of times bottom fishing at a jetty can be um, frustrating because you get snagged a lot. So consider consider using trying like lures and stuff like that. I would I would go to a jetty and throw like a spoon, like a metal spoon or something like that. Any tips for catching bluegill? There are a few people asking for bluegill tutorials. Oh, bluegill tutorials, really? Mm -hmm. It's it's pretty simple. I, I mean, so I, I've done a lot of videos on that already. Um, our earlier stuff in the fall, in the in the spring, where we cut the squiddy bits into little strips like this and put it on a little. Uh, a little weighted jig head under a bobber. That works very well. Yeah, we actually had a really great spring season. They like to hide by those. like trees and like un like shallower areas by structure. That's my tip. Um, have y'all been deep to Deep Creek Lake? Yes, we have. We went fishing there. Uh, we caught a I caught a pike and she caught a big bass. <laughs> Uh, but we didn't film a video on it. Yeah, we both just woke up, y'all. 
<laughs> Someone said that we look tired. We look so sleepy. Yeah, we just yeah. woke up not not too long ago. We were fishing like early, early this morning. We woke up at like four o'clock in the morning, went fishing, almost got skunked. Um, yeah, I've been to Tridelphia Reservoir before fishing. It was it, I, I I did a lot of fishing there when I was younger. Yeah, we've been there a whole bunch. Lots actually. of little small fish, and then oh, one season actually, I got I was getting a lot of big fish from there because all they drained out all the water, right? Like, yeah, they drained out the water was it was very low, and it was like there's very little spots that the fish could be hiding, so it was very easy to find them. Mm. Jeff. What's up, Jeff? Remember me. What's up, Jeff? I remember. Rocky okay. Gorge is good, too. This guy lives close to us, probably. You guys should do fishing at Juno. Oh, yeah. I would Juno love to do Juno. Florida. We've been there. Evelyn Chen says it's still low. And what's up, <laughs> Evelyn? Hi. <laughs> okay. Sahid says, I just got my first bait caster yesterday, but I don't know how to wash it or clean it after saltwater fishing. Um, okay, so what I usually do with my reels after after saltwater fishing is just simply just rinse it in in fresh water, not blast it with a with a hose. Just simply rinse it under running water, uh, and and just retrieve slowly, and that's that's enough of a clean for me. Um, I never let my my reels touch the sand either. It's always it's touching the sand is really bad. You don't want to get sand in between the gears. That's what will destroy it. So. Do not let it touch. Did you check the fire fire blood reel yet? I have not. <laughs> oh, I wanted to see Kaisen Fishing Hawaii says, "Do you like spinning reels or conventional reels?" I like spinning reels. I've literally just started using my conventional reel again because I'm learning how to troll on the little on the little boat. Um, but yeah, I usually typically use spinning reels. Exotic Gar Exotic Guardian is asking if we'll ever go to Galveston again. Yeah, <laughs> we had plans to go right before Corona hit, and like, then literally right like Corona March hit. 15th. <laughs> Corona hit, and we were like, mm, we cannot go. We just we literally cannot go. They're saying you cannot cross state lines, so we had to cancel our trip, and all the places that we were going to stay um, got canceled. Yeah, so we'll we'll make it. We'll make it there. Maybe twenty twenty one. You know. Yeah, I have family in Texas, uh, who I want to go fishing with. So, okay. Well, how you feel? I'm feeling tired again, but I had to cook <laughs> dinner now. So, okay. It was so nice to talk to everyone. Just hop on real quick, say hi. Yeah. Check in. We got to do it more often. We always say that. So, yeah. If there's any more questions, ask it now. I'll stay on for like another couple more minutes, yeah. but then I'm gonna I'm gonna go and cook. What is your favorite? Fishing lure. My so favorite fishing Kyrie lure. Trent. Yeah. So at um, the top of your head, name top three. Hmm. Which you've been using lately. Lately, I've been using spoons. So I really like this, what's called a pet spoon. That one's been really working well for me. Um, just a, what's called a deadly dick. That's, I, that's one that I really like. It's like a long silver sliver that flashes in the water. Um, what else? Was it? Bucktails? Bucktails with squiddy bits on the end. I love that. Uh, and then maybe some kind of lip diver you've been using. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lipless crankbait. Uh, chicken head. Bro, my kid loves you. Video shout out her name. Her name is Libby. What's up, Libby? Shout out to Libby. <laughs> uh, Devil Spoon is fun. Oh, what someone else? wanted tips on porgy fishing. I saw them a couple, porgy fishing? A couple times. Porgy fishing will eat a lot of different things, but they're really good at stealing your bait. So my suggestion is use like our squid bait, our squiddy bits bait. That I caught like must be like 30 fish with one little tiny piece of that. Versus you can put fresh soft clam on it, but every time you cast it, you're going to have to rebait it. What you really want to do is have a bait that's tough enough to be able to survive to like, give them a good taste, nonstop. but they can't rip off. Yeah, they can taste it, but they can't rip it off. Yeah. Uh, that's my suggestion for porgies. Little hooks. Um, what do you think of the Chinese lures from eBay and Wish? I mean, I, I think the Chinese lures are just fine. Switch out the hooks with VMC hooks, and they're just fine. 
a lot of the fishing bait lures they they're to trick like the fishermen more so than the actual fish. <laughs> what do you know about this one? Interesting. How do you compare squiddy bits to something like fish bites? Um, so squiddy bits is real. It's not a fake synthetic anything. It's a real squid. Um, and even down to the core of it, fish bites has plastic on the inside of it. It has that the plastic mesh. mesh that I like fish bites work. I know they work, but, um, the difference is squiddy bits is real and fish bites is artificial and fish bites also has plastics in it. So, um, like when birds eat it, like after you take it off, I yeah. see that. when, when birds eat it after you take it off, it's probably not good for them. It, when, when that mesh gets left in the water or fish start eating that kind of plastic, it's probably not good for them. And then you're eating the fish that has the plastic in them. So we're trying to keep things more um, natural with our bait. Right. Uh, so if you if that's something that you Just value, then, then Squiddy Bits is uh, all natural. Okay, Su Sudan has been asking about setting up a live bait, please. The whole time. The whole time we've been what live, did he, uh, setting up a live bait. Setting up a live bait? Okay, so the Which best, most love. natural way is just literally – okay, so there's a couple ways. Live bait on the fish finder rig right here. This is one up. of the rigs that we're giving away. I'll show you here. Okay, so this is the – where you would put the live bait on this hook, right? And then on this end is a swivel. And then on your main line, you're going to put this, which is going to hold your sinker here. And you're going to tie it like that. So when anything bites your line here and pulls it away, your sinker stays in one place and your fi the fish won't know that it's, it has picked up a line. Um, but you will know. You will see your line moving. Um, this is a very good rig for live baits, but I think the the most natural way to present it is literally just on a straight hook, a uh, hook on a leader line. It's called free lining. Yep. Okay, bluefish tips. Please, That's next. Skipper from Julian. Maybe I should make a video on how to catch bluefish. I think you definitely I have love catching videos bluefish. on bluefish. I think it's about like using lures. Using lures that are flashy and pretty much indestructible. Soft plastics do not work very well. Um, like Z-Man's work, but little ones? metal little metal pieces will work the best because they can't destroy it. That um, is one of the easiest ways to catch them is to use a shiny thing. And another thing is you have to fish for them at the right tide. Uh, when it's moving in, they're not always there. But if you know that the that bluefish are running, just throw these little spoons over and over again until they show up. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to go, guys. We're going to be cooking dinner. Thank you so much for joining us. It was always fun, as usual. Um, enter the giveaway. We're giving away this stuff. It ends in a couple of days. Um, if you want, you can also buy these products without winning i mean you know without entering um we sell these products as well so okay i'll Good see you thank you so much see you next time